king's hand, and what more if he sell me to his queen? The Lord came down the river, drowning at the seal. He was an ugly man, big and fleshy, with an oarsman's thick shoulders and no neck. Coarse grey stubble, going white in patches, covered his cheeks and chin. Above a massive shelf of brow, he was bald. His nose was lumpy and red with broken veins, his lips thick, and he had a sort of webbing between the three middle fingers of his right hand. Dabs had heard that some of the lords of the three sisters had webbed hands and feet, but he always put that down as just another sailor's story. The Lord leaned back. Cut him free, he said, and peel those gloves off him. I want to see his hands. The captain did as he was told. As he jerked up his captive's maimed left hand, the lightning flashed again, throwing the shadow of Dada Seaworth's shortened fingers across the blunt and brutal face of Godric Bollard, Lord of Sweet Sister. Any man can steal a ribbon, the Lord said, but those fingers do not lie. You are the Onion Knight. I have been called that, my lord. Davis was a lord himself, and had been the knight for long years now. But deep down, he was still what he'd always been, a smuggler of common birth, who had bought his knighthood with a hold of onions and salt fish. Oh, I've been called worse things too. I, traitor, rebel, turn cloak. He bristled at last. I have never turned my coat, my lord. I am a king's man. Only if status in the king, the lord weighed him with hard black eyes. 